This is the Maxcom M917, a classic phone with limited abilities aimed for those who are not really looking for any fancy smart features or elderly people who do not care about smart gadgets at all. As you probably can see, it has a plastic body, which is not the best quality, but compared to the price, it's acceptable. The weight is 124 gram, which is quite heavy in this category because of the battery. It has a robust design which can help to survive many accidental drops because every phone lands on the ground sooner or later. Here is a quick sneak peek into the main menu grid. The most important feature of a classic phone like this one is the language. Some super budget phones don't even have English as an option, so here you can check all the available languages. I'm going to show a few other menus as well, just to help to present you how super simple these phones are. The menu system is quite simple and easy to understand, there are not too many sub-menus. The loudness of the ringtone and message notification is great, the vibration effect is also decent. You can use any kind of music as a ringtone, but there are a few extra basic ones included. Here you find a few other useful options like calculator, alarm, calendar, sound recorder and so on. Regarding the web access, I was not able to connect it to the internet. Probably it needs some extra setup from the carrier, but not sure here. Unfortunately, the radio requires headphones cable to be plugged in. This is a major negative point of this phone. The micro USB charging cable and brick is included in the box, together with an earphone. Another great feature of this phone are the buttons. These are well placed, separated from each other, so it's easy to identify them even in dark. And each of them has a backlight, so no worries. This is a pretty big phone, to be honest, compared to similar classic phones. It's a massive weight, 124 gram, and it's 130 by 59 by 20 mm. The weight is because of the extremely big 2500 milliamp battery and the thickness probably to stay more secure in any hand. The main body is from plastic with some rubber elements. Unfortunately, the side dotted part does not have any rubber in it, so not extremely grippy but still stays secure in any hand. It has a 2 megapixel camera, so it's a pretty basic one, unusable in nearly any case. Maybe if you really need to take a photo of a document or something like an accident, it could be used, but the resolution is pretty low, so do not expect quality, especially on a bigger monitor. Be aware of taking photos in low light. The camera has a built-in flash, but the result would be blurry if you do not have enough natural light. Another great feature is the flashlight, which has a decent power, unfortunately missing the dedicated button, so you need to press and hold the zero key to activate or deactivate it. The two ports on the bottom are hidden under the rubberized plastic door, because the phone has an IP68 water resistance rating. Of course, no one recommends to go and swim with it, but it can resist some water spill or if it gets wet in your pocket in a rain shower. It has a second SIM option and also a micro SD slot, up to 32 gigs, so you can extend the internal memory if you really want to. Compared to other classic phones, it has a large 2.4 inch screen, but the resolution is extremely low, 240 by 320 pixel, so you'll be definitely able to see the pixels. Considering that is a budget phone with decent screen size, great buttons, outstanding battery life, it's not that hard to recommend it to anyone who is looking for a phone for any older person. Probably won't fit for those who already had a smartphone. I'm going to give this a 4 star rating, but it's a great phone in overall. Just has some smaller cones, which probably are crucial for once, but perfectly insignificant for others. Thanks for watching, hope it was useful, see you in the next one!